Understanding everyday English. The cake is too dry. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a common phrase you might encounter in everyday conversations or in recipes, the cake is too dry. Stick around to find out not just what it means, but also how to use it in various contexts. When someone says, the cake is too dry, they are directly commenting on the texture of the cake. A cake is expected to be moist and soft. If it's too dry, it lacks enough moisture, making it hard to chew or swallow. This can happen due to various reasons like overbaking, incorrect proportions of ingredients, or using ingredients that don't retain moisture well. Understanding the context in which this phrase is used is crucial. If you're at a party or a tasting event, and someone mentions that the cake is too dry, it's a feedback on the quality of the cake. In a baking or cooking class, this phrase might be used to teach students what to avoid when making a cake. Interestingly, this phrase can also be used metaphorically to describe situations or even people. If someone says, this presentation is like a dry cake, they might mean that the presentation is boring, lacks engagement, or is missing something that would make it interesting. When applied to people, it can suggest that someone is dull or lacks a sense of humor. It's important to be culturally sensitive when using phrases that could be perceived as criticism. While, the cake is too dry, can be straightforward feedback in many contexts, ensuring that it's delivered in a constructive manner, especially when addressing someone's cooking or baking directly, can prevent misunderstandings. And that's a wrap on today's topic, the cake is too dry. We hope this video has not only helped you understand the literal and metaphorical uses of this phrase but also how to navigate its usage in different contexts with sensitivity. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, it's also about the culture and nuances that come with it. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.